All right, I'm with Dita Bhargava. You are running for treasurer. This is your second time running for the for the job. All right, and uh, we're at the Newtown Democratic campaign kickoff. So, but real quick, why don't you just tell me how your campaign is going so far? Well, Al, first of all, I'm so excited to be here in Newtown. What a fabulous turnout and so much energy, which we need, you know, in these times especially. We need people to show up on August 9th. We need them to show up in November. So I'm really excited. Like you said, I'm running for the second time. So I've been thinking about this job for more than four years, which is why I was the first to put out a comprehensive policy proposal for all the things that I'm going to do out of the state treasurer's office. I have 25 years of investment management experience and the only candidate who has 25 years of investment management experience and I always say if you're going to sign up to manage the state's investments you should know how to, how to manage investments and so that experience is going to help especially right now I'm ready on day one because we are in this very tough economic environment where inflation is at 40 year highs people are having trouble filling their their cars with gas, buying food, paying their rent. We want to make sure that we are protecting that pension portfolio so our retirees still have the, um, the resources that we promised them and they're growing their investments. And I know I'll be ready on day one to make sure that I navigate that. Now, you may have seen my ad that's come out recently, which is a pro-abortion ad, and I have made the commitment that any company that Connecticut invests in, that they guarantee abortion rights to their, uh, to their employees because it's not only the right thing to do, it is a smart thing to do. Companies that don't empower their employees, empower their women, are not good long-term investments because their employees will either leave, those women will leave, or they'll come back and they won't be as productive because they haven't had the, the choice. They haven't had the ability to make that choice over their own body. So I am gonna go out there and make sure we fight against that Supreme Court decision by making the right decisions as a leader of Connecticut. So I ask for your vote on August 9th. We need more women. We absolutely need more women. 51% of our population is women. We have less than 30% in, in elected government. Four men and a woman made that decision to overturn and strip away 50 years of rights from women. We need more women, but I have the experience. I'm a woman, and I'm so passionate about serving uh, Connecticut. Thank you so much. All right, now, if people want to find more information about you and your platform, where can they go? Please visit my website, DitaCT22.com. All my policies are up there. You can sign up to volunteer, phone bank, door knock. Um, go to the polls and, and poll standards. Just go out and vote, but if you need any more information, have any ideas, this is an open door policy, and that's exactly what the Treasury's office would be, an open door policy. I'm running to be a public servant, and that means I'm running to serve you. I want to hear your voice. All right, well, thanks a lot for your time. I appreciate Thank it. You.